welcome back to My Bookish World. I'm Alex and today I have with you my pre-Christmas book haul. These are some books that I bought through the month of November as well. I think I bought maybe one or arrived here in December but I just figured I'm not buying any more books until Christmas and I'm gonna have a separate Christmas book haul. So yeah, I just figured I would do this now. So there are a few bookish items in here as well. Um, I got some socks and I got um, a bag from because I was doing Small Business Saturday with my mom. So yeah, I went shopping, and also some of these are Black Friday deals. So yeah, I'll talk about that. So the first thing that I have is actually a gift from my sister and my brother-in-law, and they're just socks with somebody reading them on them, and cats, and like little outlines of books. But they say, fuck off, I'm reading, and I love them because mood. Um, I don't, I won't, my daughter's trying to eat the socks, because I don't want to be disturbed when I am reading, for sure. Are you going to eat them? Please don't eat them. Um, and then I got some other socks from um, a indie bookstore down like 20 minutes away from me um, on when I was just doing Small Business Saturday. So these are just Harry Potter socks that say book turns muggles into wizards along with the house colors, um, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. And I love them and I can't wait to wear them. The next thing I have is a book that I actually got from Book Outlet, and that is Dumplin' by Julie Murphy in paperback. Um, I really wanted this book because I really enjoyed Dumplin', and the movie just came out that I absolutely loved, so I bought it because it was on sale on Black Friday, and yeah, I love it. It's beautiful. Um, another thing that I actually got when I was shopping on Small Business Saturday is this little um, pouch, and the front says, uh, dogs are not our whole life, but they make our lives whole, which is a quote from Virginia Woolf. And then on the back, it just has um, different famous authors' dogs' names. Um, and I just thought it was really cute because if you guys don't know, like, I love dogs. I have one lying down right in front of me. I love dogs. I love reading. They're my life. So yeah, I needed this. Uh, the next book I got is was also from Book Outlet, and that is The Crown by Kiara Cass. This is actually the last book that I needed um, when I was... This is the last book I needed in paperback in the series, because I just decided to collect all the other books in paperback. So now I finally have it, and the series is completed. The next book I got is... Broken Beautiful Hearts by Kami Garcia. I also got this from Book Outlet. Again, it was on sale. Um, I think I'm planning to read this at some point in 2019, but yeah, I haven't heard a ton about this, but I really do like Kami Garcia. I read her book, um, The Lovely Reckless, and I loved it. So I'm excited to read more by her, and yeah. Um, the next book that I got is Life Inside My Mind, again, from Book Outlet. Um, and this features author, 31 authors sharing their personal struggles, I think, with mental health. Um, and it includes some authors like Amy Reed, Ellen Hopkins, Lauren Oliver, Jennifer L. Armentrout, and quite a few other ones that I don't think I know. But I'm definitely really excited to read this. Um, it should be very, very interesting. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm excited. The next book I have is A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Bernard. I haven't heard a ton, I don't actually know what this book is about, but I have heard a lot of people say that they really love this book, so I saw it on sale on Book Outlet and I just decided to get it. Um, I also got The Dark Days Club by Allison Goodman. Um, I have heard actually quite a bit about this series, especially from Allie from Hardback Court. Hey! Um, recommends this all the time, so I decided to get it. I saw it on sale, and it's a lovely hardback, and I'm just, my, my dog, can you move, Mads, Mads, move, Maddie, move, she got scared because of the chair, don't pick those socks up, ah, ugh, finals week, and not being able to give them attention is not fun, but anyway, I really am excited to read this book, I'll probably, will read it in October for Halloween, but I'm very excited, it's pretty Thick, which I wasn't really expecting, but yeah. It's also beautiful. Like, look at those insides. Oh, it's gorgeous. The next book I actually bought in September, but I don't think I ever actually 
holds it. So I figured I would just hold it now. And that is uh, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets JK, by J.K. Rowling, the 20th anniversary edition in my Hufflepuff house. Will you please go away? Hufflepuff house colors. And like I said, I don't think I ever hauled this, but I have it. Um, the next book I got uh, is Obsession by Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is kind of a spinoff off of the Lux series by her, and it follows, um, like, the bad guys that the Lux are fighting against. So I'm very, very excited to read this. Um, I probably won't get to it until January or February, I don't remember. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I'm pretty sure this one is going to be more sexy than, like, the, I'm pretty sure this is, like, new adult, which I'm pretty excited about. Um, the next book that I got is something that I got from Barnes & Noble on Black Friday because they have a signed copy and it's my favorite author, and if you know me, you know it is Jennifer L. Armentrout. This is The Darkest Star, and like I said, it's a signed copy. My favorite author touched my book. It's cool. Um, I bought this because I saw it there and it was the last book on the shelf like this and it's my favorite author and it's another spinoff off of the Lux series which I absolutely love and follows a different character that we meet towards the end of the Lux series. So I'm just very excited because we get to see my favorite characters again. We get to see Damon. I'm so excited. And it's gonna be a series! It's gonna be a series! Okay, the next book that I got is actually one that I haven't heard the best things about lately, but, um, I bought it, so yeah. And that is The Lady's Guide to Petticoats and Piracy by Mackenzie Lee. I heard mixed reviews about this, which is funny because everybody really loved The Gentleman's Guide, Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. But yeah, I am interested in reading both this and the other book, um... Not the last book, I'm live. The next book I got also when I got The Darkest Star at Barnes & Noble, and that is Girls of Paper and Fire by Natasha Nagan, I think. Um, and this is also a signed copy, and Sadie Hush is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. Um, and I've heard wonderful things about this, and I'm planning on getting to it probably, like, the first... Like, I'm pretty sure this is the first book that I'm going to read in 2019. I'm just, it's so, it's so pretty, and I'm so excited to read it. Okay, the last book is one that I want to be reading, but I can't until I finish finals on Thursday. And that is Queen of Air and Darkness by Cassandra Clare. It just came yesterday in the mail. Sadie. And it is not only signed... But it is personalized. I bought it from Good Choice Reading. This brick of a book. I cannot wait to read it. I cannot wait until I'm done with finals so I can just sit down and give this book the attention it deserves. Oh, I'm so excited. I, I don't even have any coherent thoughts. So that is it for my pre-Christmas book haul. I know I bought a lot, but a lot of this was on sale. And, like, November is a very stressful month. So, yeah. But anyway, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. Well, all my social media is down below. That's Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, and hi. And Goodreads, um, or not Snapchat. That's Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreads, as well as my blog, which is down below. And I review every single book I read on there. And that is my beautiful bookishworld.wordpress.com. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!